What temperature rating of sleeping bag or top quilt do you take when you go out fall backpacking? Or what jacket do you grab? In this video, I'm gonna give you a full loadout of my most comfortable and lightweight setup for fall backpacking. All right, so we just got into camp. We hiked a few miles in here and it was absolutely beautiful. The fall leaves are amazing. It's a great time of year to be out. I absolutely love fall hiking, but that's not the reason you guys are here. The reason you guys are here is you wanna see the different gear that I typically change up for fall backpacking, especially when you're trying to stay as lightweight as possible, but be comfortable and warm. Starting with this pocket right here, I've got my typicals, which I'll kind of skim over, such as my Garmin Interreach 2, but I've also got here right top, easy to grab, is gloves. So these are wool knit liner gloves. I typically take these in the summer as well, but just a very light glove. They keep my hands nice and warm, especially when I layer them with some kind of rain mitt or wind stopper. So by putting these on, I get the stoppage of the wind, which allows my hands to stay warm. With this combination, my hands stay very comfortable. I don't typically go to an insulated glove until a little bit later in the season. Other than that, in this outside pocket, I've just got headlamps and other things to grab. Good things to grab. M&Ms and water filter, battery bank, a few things like that that I want close at hand. Now typically, um, there's there's this that I tossed in last minute. This is just a um, head, it's a down beanie essentially. It's not quite cold enough yet for me to want to grab the down or our, our loft tech balaclava, especially when it's paired with the sleep system, which I'll show you here in a second. Now on the top of this, I typically will have my um, foam pad, my eighth inch foam pad that we sell. Now this time of year, I switch from a 40 inch pad to a 60 inch pad for more coverage and also just a little bit more R value underneath my sleeping pad. Getting into it from the top here, I've got my food and stove that I pack right on top. I've got my clothes, which I put all in this bag, which is really what I want to share with you guys to help you stay warm and comfortable on trail. Then I have my sleep system. Now, this sleep system, I went from a quilt to a summit down sleeping bag. The reason that I made that switch is we're not doing excessive miles, so I don't, I don't focus as much on the weight when I'm only going a few miles in, but more so when it gets colder, this really becomes my cold weather sleep system. Um, I don't have drafts, I can layer things underneath it if I need more warmth or even pair it with the top quilt, but it's a really nice and slick system as the weather cools off. Last thing I have in here is my first aid kit. And then I've already pulled out in the bottom here, I typically have a sleeping pad. Now I shoot for a three to four R value pad this time of year, especially when I pair it with that eighth inch foam pad. And then I've got our 40th tent, which I've already set up. All right, so let's dig into the most important part of why you guys are here, which is the clothing and layering system. Um, this is really where you can make or break your comfort level on trail, in my opinion. So this is gonna be good to share. Now, because again, I, these are probably overkill, but want to go in very, very comfortable. So I've got my down booties here that I will sleep in. So those are always just peace of mind. If I'm thinking like, man, it's getting cold or I'm pushing the limits on my sleep system, throwing in down booties um, really allows you to extend that and stay super, super comfortable. For my legs, what I've got here is just some really lightweight fleece leggings. So these are really lightweight piece. Um, and then I've also got wind pants. Now these wind pants will be very, very nice um, for tonight just to stop the wind if the wind picks up and I'm not in my tent yet. But also in the morning, I have to get up very early and hike out of here um, based on some timelines that I have. And so I will start hiking in wind pants actually over these. And the reason for that is just by stopping that wind from hitting me, it allows me to at least retain the heat that I'm already developing while hiking. So these have been very, very good. Plus once I heat up, they're easy to get off um, the body and continue to hike. As far as my upper body, I have three important jackets in here and I'll explain why I have three jackets. I first got the Ventus hoodie, which I guess I counted as a jacket. I have the Nova UL jacket and then I have our Tusher rain jacket. So the combination of these three pieces makes an exceptional layering system where I expect to be extremely warm tonight, if not overkill. So starting with the Ventus hoodie, this is a piece that I'll pop on here pretty shortly. It is starting to cool off. Um, I'm cooling off also because we've, we've been done hiking for just a little bit, but I'll put this on and this will probably stay on possibly through the night. I may sleep in this piece. It's very good at temperature regulation. And then in the morning when I get up to start hiking and it's, in, it's about 20 degrees out, um, I'm going to want to have this piece on to at least start that hike uh, while it's very, very cold. But then 
If I layer that piece with this, this is the Nova UL. The Nova UL is a fantastic static piece, meaning not a piece that you're actively moving in or hiking in, because it doesn't breathe that well, but it stops the wind and is an extremely, extremely warm piece. So I'm gonna be using this piece for my camp layer, essentially what I'll be wearing my tent, making dinner, those types of things, just to stay very, very warm while I'm in camp. But I won't necessarily hike in it. And then the last piece here that I have is the Tusher rain jacket. So this Tusher rain jacket um, does a fantastic job at stopping the wind. I will likely hike in this the majority of the hike out tomorrow morning to stay nice and warm and just block that cold wind from stealing my heat. So all in all, I've got a seven ounce rain jacket, a seven ounce hoodie, and a 12 ounce down jacket. The combination of those will leave me very, very comfortable out here on trail. I'll be very warm throughout this whole situation. I've got pieces I can sleep in, I've got pieces I can hike in, and it makes for a fantastic combo to stay warm and very comfortable while still staying ultra light in this third season to enjoy these beautiful fall leaves. All right, so those are my adaptations for the fall season. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. Drop that in the comments below, what things you change out to stay comfortable and warm and lightweight in this third season. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we have a lot of amazing content coming. And if you wanna see more layering stuff, we'll actually link up here a video where I was out in 41 degrees below freezing and what layering system I was using. You can see that on that video. We'll see you guys on the next one.